Hello everybody, how are you all doing today? Greetings. Today's date is July the 28th. It's Thursday, about 3 p.m. here in Istanbul, Turkey, on a blazing hot day. It's about 32 degrees here today. Thank goodness I've got my neck fan. Taking out my dog Ellie for a haircut, so I've got a little bit of time to be doing a technical analysis. I hope that it's not too loud here and you can hear me properly. I always want to make the most efficient use of my time, so it's important for me to be able to take advantage of that while waiting for my dog to get a haircut. I'm just in beautiful Istanbul today here, and we are just chilling at a cafe, about to have some dinner. Got a beautiful Jameson here, got some bread here, at a very beautiful setting, waiting for my ribeye steak to come in, and I'm just killing some time. So let's get on with this, okay? So for those that don't know me, welcome to my channel. My name is Philicon Crypto and I'm here to provide you with top tier technical analysis from the perspective of a million dollar trader. My journey was where I began with basically being absolutely broke seven years ago, living in my mom's basement. I had the courage to spend my last $2,000 mining Ethereum with a mining rig that I built. I'm one of the first people that wrote one of the most complicated guides to mining in 2015 that had over a million views to get people interested in it. So long story short, I mined 200 Ethereum. I ended up buying 200 Ethereum as well. That totaled 400 Ethereum and I caught the bull market in June of 2017 where I sold my 400 Ethereum for $140,000. And then with that 140K, I ended up making over seven figures in the Bitcoin bullish market where it reached the all-time high of 2017 of around 19,700 where I invested in IOTA, EOS, and Omize Go and Ethereum. I had no Bitcoin then. <laughs> So thank you very much for joining me. Make sure you're hitting the like, the subscribe, and the notification button to get aware of all of my notifications and my streams. And make sure you're also visiting my website, found in the link below at philicon.com, and check out some of the courses that I have and consider joining my Discord group. So my weekly profit that I always show everybody, okay? My weekly profit has been insane so far, okay? So this is my cumulative P&L from Sunday the 24th to today. I usually have massive win streaks like this all the time where I'm up about $20,000 in four days and this is not even a bull market guys. Wait till the bull market comes and I'm gonna show you what kind of profits I can make. This is my third week in a row now where I've made over $20,000, okay? Averaging about $4,000 per win here and not a single lost day thus far. So right here, you can see I made some really good bank. Last night, I, after four in the morning, I ended up making another $4,000, which hasn't even shown yet. So here are my profits thus far, having some really, really big days. I'm constantly keeping always over, at least, an, at least about, you know, an eighth of a million, right? On this particular account here, which is the trading account for both Discord and Twitter and the public. On my main account, I'm rocking well over seven figures but I'm always keeping at least about maybe maybe 125 to 1.2 million online to make sure I'm ready and have cash on hand to constantly trade here. So in this particular account of mine, I'm trading with about 40,000 in my futures account, leveraged of course. In my spot, I've got $45,000 and these are my holdings, BTC, Ethereum, XRP, and then in the urn, that's where I keep in my staking account the other $42,000. The public portfolio is just rocking right now, well over $17,000 profit. And in the main portfolio where I manage over 1.6 mil, that one there is absolutely on fire with an acquisition cost of under a quarter of a million dollars since 2018 where it has been managed. So let's take a look at Bitcoin today and where it actually stands. So Bitcoin has made some incredible gains in the past few days thus far. And it came precisely after the American interest rate announcement by Powell there, okay? We ended up getting a 75 basis point increase, which was no surprise. The only thing that surprised me was that everybody waited till the very last minute, okay, to end up rallying Bitcoin. So to backtrack a little bit, Elon Musk decided to dump 75% of their Bitcoin earnings, which was about $930 million. That had a fairly significant impact on what crypto ended up doing, but I don't think it was significant enough 
to actually impact the market long term. Okay. And by the way, on another news, there's actually um, the blockchain summit here in Istanbul, which I regret actually not going to. Had I known about it, I probably would have asked to become a speaker. I think I'd be a really good technical analyst and a good public speaker for these kind of events. And hopefully in the future, it's something that I can do more often to get more of a presence and to become a Bitcoin advocate since I firmly believe in it. Okay, so let's take a look back here. At one of the most significant things about Bitcoin right now, okay? One of the most significant things is the 200 weekly moving average that has held for an incredibly long period of time. This thing has held since 2017. Actually, sorry, 2014. So take a look here. This is the data that's not showing all of it. But on the weekly, every time we reach that 200 moving average, it ends up skyrocketing. Sometimes, like you see right here, right here, okay? It ends up, whoops, I gotta change my S Pen. Give me one second here. Sometimes when you see right here, okay? This, I'm using, this is an S Pen. I'm using the Samsung Z Fold 3 for the people that are really curious about what I'm doing here, okay? So if you look right there, okay, that ended up retracing to 4,000, bounced by right back up to $5,500. Fairly significant. And once again, we are actually at this particular price point. We have fallen below it for about 35 days here now, okay, for about about five weeks. Actually, sorry, how many weeks? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven weeks. So 49 days now, almost 50 days, seven weeks, we've fallen below the 200 moving average. But right now, we're actually trying to break above it. So breaking above it is not enough. Not only do we need to close above that particular moving average this week, but the next week, we actually need to close above it and reject coming down. So let's just pretend that that's extended. What we need to do is have a wick, perhaps a candle like that, okay? Excuse me, just a candle like that. Sorry for not drawing a square there, but you get what I mean. If we close above that particular 200 moving average, which is around $23,000, we need to stay above it, have a wick pushing to the downside. And then after that, it shows that the bears have tried to drive down the price to the downside, right? But the bears which, uh, failed and the bulls ended up pushing it, pushing it, pushing it back up to the upside. So this is how you know that we've stayed below this period for a long time. The bulls pushed to the top side and then the bears tried to push back down, but they failed and it was rejected. And the bulls showed that there was a gigantic wick that ended up trying to go down and the bulls successfully defended. So that is my criteria to add $250,000 of Bitcoin, or not, not just Bitcoin, but it'll be 70% split between Bitcoin and Ethereum, and then 30% of that will be split between alts. Okay, so that's gonna be my ultimate goal. So I'm gonna have about $175,000, which is 70% of 250, right? I'm going to have $175,000 that's going to go towards Bitcoin and Ethereum. It'll be most likely 50% Bitcoin, 20% Ethereum, and then 30% for alts. So some gainers are huge right now that I have already. So this is the portfolio that I currently have for the public. I'm up about $15,730. This is my portfolio number two. Keep in mind here, okay? My dinner just came, actually my lunch rather. I ended up getting a new New York uh, steak, but I, weird, I got asparagus, not potatoes. And never mind, the asparagus is right here. It's cool bread and this butter is amazing. And of course, I have my Johnny Walker here. So we're just having a good lunch and I'm gonna be back to resume the video in about 10 minutes. See you soon. All right, back to it. It's been about 15 minutes. <laughs> I had to pause the video there to have my lunch. And I don't have the same energy anymore because I'm just sleepy now from all that food. Got the meat sweats. <laughs> I haven't had a good steak in a long time. Chuk the shekir lash. How many pieces of ice? Uh, just, uh, just one, please. Just one. Be fun. Give me one second, guys. Okay, Sheriff, yeah. the shekir lash. All right, let's do this. Back to it. Sorry about that. I had to get my whiskey. Every time my dog gets her hair cut, I end up drinking like two, three drinks over two, three hours by myself and I just look at the market. So the holdings for this particular public portfolio 
has a $76,000 of acquisition cost, meaning that's how much I ended up spending to acquire all this, which is now valued at $92,000. My main portfolio, my acquisition cost was $200,000, and that's valued at over $1.6 million. <laughs> so you can imagine how low I got into everything, right? It's pretty much the same coins here, except it's got a lot more Cardano, a lot more XRP, and a lot more B, uh, oh sorry, not a lot more, but it has a lot of BNB, okay? So those are some of my favorite ones. And I've got a lot more L1 as well. In terms of percentages, it's got a lot more than 2.63%. So the biggest gainer is obviously Polygon right now. Polygon ended up giving me a $10,600 dollar return so far which is a 97.4% ROI I ended up getting in polygon at an average price of 0 0.453 which is really really low my Bitcoin average price I kept buying and selling actually this is wrong here this is wrong one sec there that's right okay I, I put a one in there by accident my entry price for Bitcoin was actually twenty thousand eight hundred and thirty dollars got 1.5 Bitcoin I had two but I sold 0.5 Okay, I had 10 Ethereum, but I sold 0.5. I regret doing that a little bit, but I needed more liquid cash flow to trade on this particular account here. So public portfolio is doing great. I highly recommend to always dollar cost average. You are never going to catch the bottom, okay? Catching the bottom, it just doesn't exist. If you do catch it, it's a combination of one luck and a little bit of skill, but more luck than anything. The people that end up trying to catch a bottom they end up missing it. I'm gonna wait for a specific price, okay? It's gotta reach this point first. Those people, they never catch it because they just may never get to that particular price range, okay? So in my recommendation is to always dollar cost average since you never know where the bottom is. So every single two weeks, or sorry, every single week, I buy anywhere on this portfolio between two to $5,000. And in my main portfolio, I buy anywhere between ten to $20,000. So I'm stacking up because I don't know where the bottom is. The only thing that I'm sure about is that the next bull market is coming, right? And when the bull market comes, the last thing you want to do is not be in a position. So it's better to be in a position than to not be in a position at all. Don't wait for that bottom. You're never going to catch it. Trust me, guys. I've been in crypto for seven years now, and I've turned about $2,000 to close this bull market, it's gonna turn it to about eight figures. So clearly I'm doing something right. Used to be a mechanical engineer, left my job, and now I'm here to give you top tier technical analysis from the perspective of a mechanical engineer with analytical skills that grew something small to something huge, and I got the opportunity to leave my job. So I'm here to give you guys the best TA possible and the most authentic advice that I possibly can. So Bitcoin right now, it looks like the weekly chart is going to cross over. If this weekly chart crosses over, despite it being a lagging indicator, we're going to see some massive bullish momentum. Let me give you an example of something that has crossed over on the weekly. And we, what we see here is this right here, okay? So the weekly chart ends up crossing over and look at what happens to ETC. We end up rallying a gigant, excuse me, hiccups, a gigantic amount here, right? We end up rallying a total of 192%. Did I get in on a lot of this? No, definitely didn't. You know, despite it being a bull market, not a lot of people always make money, right? It just comes down to your entry, your tolerance for pain as well, and also the hours that you're trading. A lot of the times, things happen at literally 3 in the morning. And when things happen at 3 in the morning, you don't generally catch it. And by the time you catch it, it's already too late. Let me just give you an example, okay? Here's 3 in the morning down over here on the bottom left. I'm not awake for the daily close a lot of the times. Say, for example, right here, this is, this is 3 in the morning. It hits the bottom. 6 in the morning, it rallies. I'm not awake for a lot of these times. Sometimes I am, but sometimes I'm not. Look at this one right here, okay? This is at three in the morning, and again, it's going from 25 to 26. Actually, that one wasn't that big, okay? Let's just see this one here, three in the morning again. It goes from 24.50 to 28 dollars. So a lot of the times, these, actually, I'm awake about four out of seven days for the daily candle close. The other three days, 
I can't be awake because I've got obligations with family, etc. So it's always in your best interest, in my opinion, to always be looking at the daily clothes because something is very likely to end up happening, okay? And if something does happen, well, you're probably gonna capitalize on a pretty big profit. A lot of people ended up getting liquidated, and excuse me, my camera's being a little bit weird now. Well, they are getting liquidated on ETC. They said they got liquidated last night. So I wondered to myself, how the heck did people get liquidated on an 8% movement? So this year was an 8% movement, right? And you only can get liquidated on the 8% movement if you're literally leveraging like 12, 15x, right? That's the only way. You gotta ask yourself, why the heck are you leveraging so much? Are you that greedy and you're in that much of a rush to make profit and you believe that you need more money to make money and you disregard your risk and you have zero discipline and you're going for the Hail Mary passes and the long free throws? Like it doesn't make any sense or the long like three point shots doesn't make any sense right and we're gonna go over risk management in another topic so you guys are gonna love that video that i'm gonna put out but for now as it stands with bitcoin in my personal opinion okay we ended up reaching this low over here so just check it out okay this is this is the rate hike announcement right over here okay the rate hike announcement was at 9 p.m my time okay right here 9 p.m my time where bitcoin was at 21 thousand six hundred dollars as soon as it was announced a 75 basis point for the americans there it ended up going from twenty one thousand six hundred all the way to up there so we ended up getting a massive rally so, so this ended up doing a rally of i gotta use my finger sometimes it's not as accurate you know using a pen so this one here ended up going up about nine percent that's a really big rally which ended up carrying markets to an extreme amount like SNX did 25%, ETC did 30% yesterday. So we ended up falling pretty low. And yes, I do admit that my last video, I was fairly bearish about Bitcoin reaching 18.9K, but the bulls have recovered. So we gotta wonder and ask ourselves like, is something really gonna happen here, right? This was a pretty decent trend line, I have to admit. But of course, you don't want to just be trading only trend lines, right? Got to factor a lot of other things as well. So we had this huge momentum here. Okay. Let me just show you. We ended up getting this. So right now we're at the 200 weekly moving average. So that's why we're fighting an extreme amount. We don't know how this support is even at right now. Like we don't know. Like it looks like right now that this is doing something like that, doesn't it? Like that's the only way we can look at it now. Originally, like support trend lines can be very subjective and they can be drawn many ways. On the daily, that looks bad. But if you look on the two day, that looks beautiful, right? So then on the daily, it can be drawn like something like, oh, I think I'm yelling now. I think I'm yelling because there was music. So I gotta make sure I'm aware of that. So if you look on the daily here, it can look like something like that, right? So I thought we were going lower. And then it can also look like something like this as well, okay? It can also look like 18,900 was a solid support. But the way that we see it right now, we're seeing by far that the two-day is the best way to draw it. So therefore, we have clearly identified the, the I would say the medium-term support range from June 16 to almost August now. So this has now been a period of roughly... 40 days now that we've been here, okay? So because it's been 40 days of holding above this support, I cannot help but think to myself that we are definitely bullish. And this is the main resistance we need to break. Right there, okay? This is the resistance. If you look at it from back over here, on that doji, that was the high where Bitcoin ended up rallying about 17% so of course it's gonna make a pretty decent resistance but then we hit it once again right up here and these are some bull trapped regions okay and then we hit it again right over here so it's three times now and this looks like there's no other way but to have an ascending triangle for Bitcoin the ascending triangle in my opinion is now in the, the medium term 
40 day support is now in. The weekly chart wants to break to the upside based off of the MACD and the RSI. Historically speaking, since 2014, this RSI, whenever it reaches the weekly oversold RSI under 30, it historically has bounced every single time for the past eight years. Right now in history, there are over 1 billion Bitcoin wallets that exist. Doesn't mean there's a billion users. It means that there are a billion addresses, okay? So that's what I, sorry, that's what I meant by that. Not only that, historically, there's more people holding one Bitcoin in their, hold, in their wallet than any other time in history. This is now reaching all time highs. Historically, when we get the 200 moving average, we bounce to the upside. Last time we saw it, it dropped down almost 20%, but still recovered, right? Actually started 50%, and it still recovered every time. So the weekly MACD is now trending to the upside as well. So I think the bulls have now officially identified a longer term support. And I think that we are now going to reach, so I'm just looking at the waiter right now. I thought he was coming over. So <laughs> that's why I'm like looking left and right right now. So we've established the, the ascending possible triangle. We est we've established, oh, sorry, we've established the weekly ascending possible triangle, the higher lows. We've also seen the weekly moving to the upside, right? I think that was the final test that we saw there, right? The bulls have officially kicked back in. Now I'm very confident, okay? I'm very, very confident. I thought we were gonna completely drop to the sound downside, but after seeing this recovery and the weekly closing in like three days, that's gonna be trending to the upside. We now have a chance to say that this could be a bottom, okay? That's really important to acknowledge. Anyways, I wanna leave you guys with this thought right now. I will catch you sometime later. Thank you very much for joining me for this video. Please make sure you guys are liking and subscribing and hitting that notification bell to see every time I post a video. And if you guys haven't signed up for my Discord group yet, consider signing it. You get an opportunity to come learn and trade with me. Not only that, I have one of the best courses that cryptocurrency has ever seen. So consider signing it up at philcon, excuse me, www.philacone.com. Check out my website. And I hope to see a lot of you with my students. Make sure you guys are staying strong for this bull market because I promise you that this eight figures of mine is coming and you guys need to be a part of crypto history with me, okay? I don't want to see you guys being left behind. This is a possible life-changing moment, not financial advice, but just based on all the data that we see here, there's a chance for us to catch the next major bull market. And I'm here to call, always inform you of what the possibilities are in the market. So have yourselves a great day and thank you for joining me. Bye now.